OK, so let's have a look at starting the engine. Before you start the engine, it's very important to check two things. It's called precautions before starting the engine. And those two things are that the handbrake is on. So it may look as if it's on, but always just give it a pull to make sure that it's on fully. It might not be on fully, and when you check that the gear is in neutral, if it isn't in neutral, uh, as you take it out into neutral, the car can roll forwards. So check that that's on first, handbrake's on, and then we can check that the gear lever is in neutral. So wiggle it left to right, right to left, and make sure that it is actually in neutral. If I just demonstrate something to you, if it's in first gear, or any gear for that matter, you can actually wiggle it a little bit. So make sure that you can wiggle it a lot when it's in neutral. And it will always rest back in that position between third and fourth gear. So now that we know that the handbrake's on and the gear lever's in neutral, we can turn the key. It doesn't really matter which way the key goes in, uh, but we turn the key like that. If we turn it one click, it'll light the lights up in the dashboard, and that just tells you that those bulbs are actually working. So if you did get a problem with the system, that light would come on to tell you you've got a problem with the system. It also starts the electrics up, so you might be able to hear the fans running. And then we turn the key again, and it starts the engine. And release the key, and all the lights apart from the um, seatbelt light, because I've not got my seatbelt on, um, but if I have my seatbelt on, that would go off. Um, all the lights should go off, apart from the one on the right, which is uh, like an exclamation mark in brackets, which means that the handbrake is on. So that's how you would start the engine.